Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from Physiopedia um, and I'm here with Yvonne again today. We spoke to Yvonne in week, was it week two Yvonne? I can't remember. Um, and we're in week six of the Managing Children with Cerebral Palsy course. Um, everything has gone amazingly it's been such a fabulous course we've been so impressed with all the participants that have been engaged in the course and contributing to the discussions and the knowledge sharing around the world um, and Yvonne has been in the forums talking to you all and Yvonne has just told me before we came on camera that she became addicted to the forums so we thought we'd have a little chat to Yvonne about um, how she thinks the course has gone and any advice that she has for people that have participated in the course and would like to carry on learning learning in this sort of um, learning about cerebral palsy. Okay, hello, hello Rachel. Uh, I, I'm absolutely delighted to have got this far in the course and seen so many people participate. I mean, it's just fabulous. And to know that it's all over the world. You, you know, you, you, I, you said at some stage something like 50 countries. We yeah, had world... 160. There. 160 and, countries. Wow, I, that's brilliant, brilliant. So we had CP Day, and I said to everybody who came, we had about 35 families and lots of guests. And I said, you know, this is this, as you said, this is the the biggest group of people talking about CP. So I, I think this is brilliant. Um, I found the course was was what I liked about it was that we had the theory. The first week or two was really understanding CP. How do we evaluate it? What are we looking at? How different it can be from one child to another, um, what we need to be looking for. So I really liked that. But what, what really gave me a lot of encouragement was all through the course, these children were looked at in a very pragmatic, uh, simple way of how are they going to live their lives. Um, after all, we can't be a patient all our lives. So these CP children and adults are not patients. And I said that in my way too, but they're not ill. But this course has, has given you the background of how you look at things, why you look at things. So, for example, the communication and speech, everybody said, wow, you know, to understand a bit more about that was fabulous because therapists don't think in natural speech and language uh, therapists, they don't really think that this is their role. And in fact, you, you can't do anything without it. So I loved that. And I love that everybody got that. The forum was a buzz with, I've learned I can communicate and I can do something alongside speech therapist. So that really was nice. I enjoyed very much the uh, activities of daily living, the others, and I liked also the fact that we're looking at evidence-based therapies and we're realising how how hard it is to get that. It's very hard to get evidence-based therapy on such a diverse group. How do you do it? You know, it's, and I think lots of studies uh, say that not enough evidence or we should do more research. From the week that before and that last for the pregnancy, I thought that was fascinating because if we don't count these children, then they don't count. And so governments don't have to do any policy making. They don't have to think about it. So everybody being aware that we're not counting them and therefore they won't count means that we can start pressurising for more uh, registration of children who are seen. So I like, I like that. So this, this course has given me the opportunity to be a better advocate for changing how we see that. So I liked that very much. Um, and I also thought that uh, it will probably everybody will realise, oh, there is a lot of these children here and we're not seeing them. So that was good. Uh, I liked the fact that uh, we covered things both practically and theory. And I think things like um, uh, understanding and getting better at doing the ICF and the rehabilitation plans will mean that we look care more carefully at everything that happens to the child. So I think it's probably opened up a lot of therapists who've been working in isolation, perhaps getting a bit depressed because they don't know what, you know, they, how they can move forward. It's probably given them something more than it's given those who are more advanced. You know, those who are all working in multidisciplinary teams already have somebody else to bounce their ideas off. And this, those things help an awful lot. You can imagine if you're working somewhere where there's maybe a physio and you, you might be newly qualified and you go into the field and you're working in community centres and children with such a vast variety of things come to you, you've now got this course to sort of get you organised and get you, get you looking at it well. So absolutely great for, for us. 
I hear my therapists now talking different vocabulary, different that they they've broadened their aims about what they do. And you know, they hear it from me, but to have this laid down 160 countries is uh, is lovely. Um, going forward, I suppose now it's you know, keep using this course. It's there's I'm sure nobody has read all of it or gone to every link or in, or looked at every article. Um, and if in countries you have, you know that other people have done it, you know, maybe join up and talk talk about it. You were saying somewhere that you know through the trial, people can continue to talk. So that would be great. Um, I, I can tell you all the things I liked about it. I, I can tell you also that my staff, and, and I'm going because they're, a lot of them are quite inexperienced and young, said, we would have liked to see more videos. You know, we'd like to see other people work. And again, that leads back to, they come from colleges where don't have a long experience of good clinical work. And so they don't see it in their training. And so they're, they're you know, they're really hungry to see what should I be doing? So maybe in the future, we're going to try and do a bit of that anyway. Film, and, and in fact, people can video themselves working or get it videoed and then analyze themselves as they're working. That helps as well. Um, so that's, you know, absolutely, congratulations. It's, I'm really pleased with the course. It's really good to hear from you, Yvonne, and to hear the things that you found interesting from your perspective as, a, as an experienced therapist working in this area. And moving forward, um, I think, the advice that you give about continuing the discussions is really good. I think, you know, you can, your trial account in, everyone's trial account in Physiopedia Plus is always available for free. The course will stay in there for you to access and you can continue in the discussion forum. So continue to use this discussion forum. You know, when the course ends, the forums don't close, they're always open so they can always be used. So that's one way that you can all continue to discuss, ask questions and share your knowledge. And then the other thing to say is, you know, this is, we can't teach practical skills online. You know, we will never be able to do that. But what we do recommend is that once people have done this course um, and completed this theoretical side of the training um, or developing your knowledge, that in small groups you can set up practical skills training courses locally. So if you're able to set up sort of a practical skills course locally, with someone that can help you or even if you do if you, even if you don't have someone who is ex experienced you can um, practice skills together and bounce ideas off it, each other it's good to get together locally to do these things so um, we recommend that you try and do that as well to continue developing your knowledge um, so and I know Yvonne you you've talked about doing some practical skills training with your staff and that's the ideal way to move forward from these courses I think and I'm also asking my staff to do workshops for other staff who are even less experienced than them and, and do them in the spirit of, right, we're doing this. Can you see, you know, can you think of another way, better way we can do this? I mean, I think you have to be open to say, well, try this instead of this. And that, that's if, if you don't hang on your professionalism of, you know, I'm supposed to know this and say, well, you know, there might be a better way. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. It is good, and I think it's always good to get together and sh you know share knowledge with everybody because everybody has a unique experience when they're working, and everybody has things to share. So that's good. So yeah, so the course is nearly ended. Um, uh, there are a few more weeks left for people to continue to finish everything off, do the assignments, um, and we look forward to receiving all the assignments because we hope to publish the best of those that come in. Um, so Yvonne, I just want to say thank you so much for being such a great facilitator on this course um, and thank you for including all your staff and thank you for chatting to us and sharing your knowledge with everybody. Yeah, it's been a privilege. Thank you very much, Rachel. Bye-bye.